guys, hope you're well. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a new foundation I've been trying out at the moment. It's absolutely amazing and it is the Dior Skin Star. When I went in to try this out, I just thought I'd just try it out, just walk off and or ask for a tester, which is what I normally do. And the lady on the Dior counter was so, so lovely. She had this little camera which almost looked like an iphone with an extended camera at the end of it and she kind of like did a skin tone reading on me but she read me in this area here and this area here and funnily enough i know that skin has like your face can have different skin tones on it and stuff like that so you have to correct and everything but i didn't realize that my face was so confused that it didn't even know like it's ethnicity like apparently this part of my skin is asian this is european so i've got a european forehead but i've got an indian the rest of my face is indian anyway leaving that aside we decided to go with the color that actually matched this part of my face because if it didn't go too too well over here at least i can correct it but she put this all over my face with their beauty blender that they have and I instantly felt like it felt really, really like velvety on my skin. It didn't feel like it irritates at all because I've got such sensitive skin. I just end up like breaking out and stuff like that. And with this foundation, she put it on me and she said the lights are a bit harsh in here. So you go to another mirror, which, which had kind of okay lighting. I looked at it and I didn't expect it to look as good as it did. It looked like... I had no foundation on, it just looked absolutely flawless, it might as well have been airbrushed, that's how amazing it did look. And then I thought, okay, I do want the concealer as well, so I got the concealer too. Not that I really need this, but do you know when you've got your days when you're looking a bit like tired underneath your eyes, or you've got these beauties on your face, yeah, you need this. They give such a beautiful radiance to your skin and brightness to your skin as well. So just talking about the foundation, when you apply it, it goes on obviously like a fluid and it's got a pump to it. I use a beauty blender, so I just square on the back of my hand and just dot it all over my face and just blend it in. And if I need extra coverage, then I do probably half a pump to just cover those areas that I need. But that's all you need really, to just have that beautiful day-to-day -day sort of glow. This is now one of the only foundations on the market that not only has a high SPF, but doesn't give flashback, but gives you the best sort of finish, especially when you're taking photographs as well. So if you're a selfie sort of person and you love taking photos of yourself, then you'll love this because when you take a photo of yourself wearing this foundation, you won't have that sort of cakey sort of look where you look like you've got so much foundation on. You'll look like you've got beautiful, radiant, glowing skin and it looks like it's just your own skin, no foundation whatsoever. Now with the concealer, this is stunning as well because it's it's not supposed to be like a normal sort of concealer which is like just to conceal those areas that you really really need to like cover up they it kind of brightens the areas where you need like a bit of brightening so you're kind of covering your dark circles underneath your eyes but it's brightening those areas as well when you have a brightening concealer you can't actually put it on your spots because then that's just going to attract more light to your spots but it's got something in it I don't know what it is that you can actually put it on your like blemishes and stuff and it just really covers it up really well and the best thing about this is that once you put it on and you blended it it just dries instantly so you do have to work with it pretty quick but at least you know that it's going to dry in place. And with both these products, you don't feel the need to powder your skin or to set your makeup, which is the best thing, I think, out of all of it as well. Because whenever you put on your foundation or concealer, you always feel the need 
to actually like powder your skin just so it sets and just keeps it all in place but with these you just don't need to do that as you can see I have oh move that hair out of the way I have deep lines underneath my eyes and what happens is concealer and foundation end up just living there and I just get the crease lines but I had next to no creasing and that was without even setting which is absolutely brilliant that's all you really want really when you have your foundation and your concealer you want to be able to put it on beautifully make it look flawless and not worry about it moving as well and i'm able to wear this for a long period of time like sometimes i've got days now where i'm pouring it on about 7.30 in the morning and I'm not taking it off until 7.30 in the evening because, you know, your days can become really hectic and it doesn't look like it's worn away, which is great. Now, I got these on offer, so this normally retails at, um, I think, about £33 and I got it for £28.80 and this normally retails at 21 pounds i think and i got it for 19 1980 these products will last you a long time especially the concealer you just need the tiniest amount with the concealer let me just show you you get this little brush with it on the end but you can use the brush just to dab it on and just use a blender or a sponge or a stippling brush just to like blend it out absolutely amazing definitely loving these and if you guys are gonna try this out my advice is don't do what I did do you try and get a sample of it and try it out because it is a lot of money but if you feel like I felt when I tried it go ahead and buy it Abs you won't actually be disappointed with it and yep that's my review on these products i hope you enjoyed it and if you are trying these out or thinking about trying these out do let me know and um yeah let me know how you get on with it and if you've enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up you know the drill if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to the channel and until next time guys i'll see you later take care bye